Hello everyone, today's video is a continuation in the series uh, that I'm doing showing the Infinity Nails uh, stamping plates. These are the newest additions to her Infinity Nails line. Uh, I will be showing you plates uh, 63 through 68 and in my follow-up video I will be doing uh, the remainder 69 through 75. The first plate I'll show you is number 63. Uh, this is the butterfly plate. Uh, nothing but butterflies on the plate. I believe I counted out uh, 42 different butterfly images. Uh, very nice, small images will fit almost any nails. And let's go ahead and get started and show you how they stamp. He's the first one, the first two here. One's a very stylized um, uh, image. The other is a more traditional type image. Uh, fine lines on both, and they both stamp perfectly. And once again, as with most of her plates, she does offer uh, mirror images of them so you can have even uh, duplicate images on uh, the opposite hand which is nice there's a lot of detail in these and um, on some of them it can get a little bit lost uh, you might want to cut back on the on the polish maybe uh, to let some of that finer detail show through but all in all, these images are quite nice. This is one of the larger images here. It looks like some uh, flowers and a couple of butterflies in the image. And once again, all those lines stamp perfectly. No missed or skipped lines. This one here in the corner, it's one of my favorite kind of a stylized butterfly with some scrolls. So number 63 butterfly plate, very nice plate. Number 64, this is probably uh, my absolute favorite plate in uh, this newest in the series. It's just a, a very nice plate to look at. Nothing but uh, flora type uh, designs with flourishes and flowers. It's very pretty. A few little hearts in there as well. And as you can see that is quite nice and stamps perfectly on the paper. It's almost hard to decide where you would like to choose from on the plate. This one, you've got some stars within the image with the flowers there. And this portion is to show you some of that line detail along with some circles and some scrolls and that comes out quite nice so again very nice plate nicely etched this is plate number 65 this is uh, has a lot of different images on here we've got uh, spongebob square pants there's a tinkerbell image uh, some more butterflies some flowers I'll show you this uh, dolphin image first Sorry, SpongeBob SquarePants is first. And he stamps quite nicely. A 
I'll show you the dolphin image here. Now when I scraped this the first time, since those dolphins are uh, have more uh, area that's engraved out, um, I did take away a little bit too much polish when I scraped, as you can see there. So that's my bad. I'm going to go ahead and um, redo that and see if I can come up with a better a better transfer here. Again, I used a lighter touch and did not press as hard on the stamper and it came out perfectly. That's a quite nice image with that wave detail in the background. And this is a very cute image. Once again, this is the Tinkerbell image. Lots of fine lines uh, for her background there, along in her, uh, along with the detail on the wings, and it, as you can see, stamps perfectly. Again, very cute. And this one down at the bottom would be perfect for Thanksgiving. It is a cornucopia design, and there is a mirror image on the other corner. This would be great for doing that stamping decal. I would love to see what some other people come up with with that. So again, that's plate number 65. Plate number 66, this one has near the top here a larger area that's got, uh, looks like some bears, uh, looks like a cat and a dog along with some flora and on one side it's got some mushrooms. I'll show you the bear section here. It's very cute. It's almost like a Care Bear type image. And stamps perfectly. All that fine uh, detail on the back comes through very nice. This design I like. I like these kind of optical type images and that one stamps perfectly as well. I'll do the one next to it to show you and that design there just there is uh, there's a mirror image on the other side of the plate as well. This one has a lot of fine kind of uh, oval engraving and it transfers to the stamper very nicely and perfectly on the page. That would be a very neat looking stamp on the nail I think. Here's a, a cloud with a rainbow and again a mirror image on the other side of the plate for it. I wanted to do this one because this one's got some fine lines on it and very nice. So again that's plate number 66. Plate number 67 is kind of a hodgepodge of, of images. Uh, we have some uh, almost kind of heart and wing tattoo type uh, things. Uh, a congratulations this cute little heart string down the down the center the uh, portion I'm going to show you here it's hearts in a circle that have four hearts in the center to almost look like a four-leaf clover and I think next to that is a wishbone. I want to say that uh, in in keeping with the almost four leaf clover, it's like a wishbone. If it's not, someone can correct me. This was a cute little design over here. It's a heart, a flower, and it looks like a Mickey Mouse silhouette. 
and I wanted to see how that came out and it very nicely done. This image right here, this uh, heart image would be great for that stamping um, decal technique or that lead light technique. Be very pretty for Valentine's. We'll try some wording here next. This is uh, this says "Love you like crazy." And again, with anything from Dashika, the wording comes out perfectly, as you can see here. And once again, that's plate number sixty-seven. Plate number sixty-eight. We've got uh, mostly full nail designs on this. I wanted to try out this uh, slightly larger design here. It's got some flowers and very, very uh, fine crosshatch design there. And as you can see that comes out just perfect so the engraving on that's really nice this was one of my favorite designs I like how it's executed here we have the cats that are back to back with their tails that kind of curl around and I like that the cats almost form what look like butterfly shapes to me that's very cute. We have a spider web and spider image here. Again, fine lines and nothing is missed or skipped on it. So nicely done. Spider is a little bit hard to make out on that, but the engraving itself is, is nicely done. And this one just tickles me, this one down at the bottom. It's a Kermit the Frog image. And this one just makes me smile. I like this image. So once again, those are 63 through 68. And I'll show you really quickly here again some of the, the stamps on the paper so you can see how nicely those did come out. Again, I'll be doing uh, the next video, which will feature 69 through 75, the rest in the uh, new additions to the series, so stay tuned for that. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, I would certainly uh, be happy to answer them. You can leave them down in the section below or visit me at my blog, tinlittlecanvases.com. Until next time, I'll see you later.